okay, we're going to show you two things to avoid when doing your box fall or any animation, honestly. Um, in this particular instance, let's just watch this. Okay. Uh, it looks like that box. I can tell you a few problems instantly with that animation. One, uh, the someone was just dragging it with the mouse and it was sort of random. Like it wasn't, didn't say in a straight line. So it didn't look like a heavy object. A heavy object wouldn't like kind of just do like a little wiggle and it wouldn't slow down. Okay. That's, that's one that just grabbing it with your mouse is going to make it look not real for an object that's falling. Um, you should use the arrow keys. Number two, here's the other one. Let's watch this one. Here's another one I see with a lot of beginning animators. Wow. Now, if that had been on a parachute or something, that would have looked kind of cool. But this is not a parachute. It's like falling from the sky. So the reason that looks so bad is it's just there's a too many frames. There's just too many frames. I'm animating it 10 frames per second. And if a thing were falling, anything, right? Like if I drop this pen to my desk, one, it's, it's like one second. It's less than one second almost. It would be nine or 10 frames at the most. So if I'm animating 10 frames per second, then this one second of action would need to be no more than 10 frames. But in, in this case, it's like, like double that or triple. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see how many frames that is. Um, does it tell you how many frames you have selected? Uh, I don't know if it does. It probably does somewhere. No, it doesn't. Does it tell me where the number? Anyway, I'm like at frame 15 and this is frame 40. So it's like 25 frames, right? Yeah, 25 frames. So that's too many frames for that particular motion. For some motions, it might be perfect, but for this one, it's not. So to avoid things to avoid too many frames, using your mouse for an object that's falling, you should just use the arrow keys. Just use the, 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 the arrow keys on your keyboard. Um, those will make your animation look more professional, more realistic. Um, and I'm not a professional animator. I'm just, I'm a hobbyist. I enjoy it. I teach it. I, I know the basics. I'm going to encourage you to use those arrow keys, especially for any object that's falling. Um, when you get to objects that aren't um, falling directly down. We'll talk more about that in the future. And if you have questions or if you have some advice for me, because you're an animator and you've seen these or you're a teacher or whatever, I'd love to know. So leave that in the comments and um, really good comments. I'll share also uh, with people because I, I like to uh, share good information. So anyway, have a great day. May your box ever fall awesomely and uh, be nice to each other. Also, if you want, you can follow me on Twitch at Mr. G Wiz. I don't do animation very often there, but I have. I'm actually playing Fortnite. So if you want to watch me play Fortnite, um, I do custom matches every once in a while, and you could even join me for a custom match. All right. Have a great day. I'll talk to you later. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, you could do that. I'd love that.